Hi, my name is Cody Ash, and I'm a technical support specialist for Rosemount Vortex flow meters. Today, we're going to be walking through how to convert an integral mount 8800D vortex transmitter to a remote mount transmitter. The tools required are a 532nds inch hex head drive, a 516th inch open-ended wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, slip joint pliers, and needle nose pliers. To begin, use your hex head drive to turn the set screws clockwise to drive them inwards. Once all the set screws have been driven inwards, you can lift the transmitter head away from the meter body, taking care to support the transmitter head so it does not hang from the meter body. Using your 5 16 open-ended wrench, you can loosen the SMA pigtail connector and set the transmitter off to the side. Next, slide the meter adapter over the sensor end of the remote cable, followed by the insulator disc, the washer, and hand tighten the nut. We'll then snug the nut using the 5 16 open-ended wrench, and then secure the insulator disc using the Phillips head screws. Please note, in this video, we are using the standard remote cable. However, if you're using the armored remote cable, the procedure will be the same. The next step is to secure the meter adapter to the meter body by hand tightening the SMA connector to the pigtail connector and snug using the 5 16 open-ended wrench. Then, using your hex drive, Turn the set screws counterclockwise to secure the meter adapter to the meter body. Next, we will convert the transmitter to a remote mount. Begin by removing the four screws that hold the shock mount to the transmitter body. Using your slip joint pliers, twist the shock mount until it comes loose from the transmitter body. Then attach the bracket mount to the meter body using three of the four Phillips head screws. Then slide the conduit adapter over the sensor cable and secure the SMA connector to the transmitter housing and hand tighten. Next, using needle nose pliers, bend the ground lug into position and feed the screw through. Secure the screw to the transmitter housing using a Phillips head screwdriver. Slide the conduit adapter along the cable and secure to the housing with the Phillips head screwdriver. If you are using the armored cable or conduit, it will thread into the adapters here and here, and you can secure the L bracket to your transmitter here. The remote mount assembly is now complete. 